So I'm going to talk just briefly about Tiger Fins and answer some of your questions um, and hopefully give you a better understanding of what the product is and what it does and what it doesn't do. Um, so you have two straps that is running the length of the brush straight around into the bristles all the way through. And you see here you have your um, Velcro pads here. Now the Velcro is being held in place by the little strap there, a little knot. And so now, you, you know, that's really not gonna go anywhere. That's locked in place. It's not gonna slide up and down the channel. Um, and we, we gave it uh, play like that because we realized um, uh, not every brush is made the same. Or if you wanted to put this onto a 14 inch brush, this is a 12 inch, um, you, you could. So we've had some guys who come back with some challenges on that, uh, just because it will feed through these, um, these tensioners. So it will go through the tensioners. It's just a little hard because you have less um, extra rope to play with. So uh, some guys have to go under some uh, pliers to kind of get it and pull it out. Now you have uh, just less play, but it, it, it technically will fit a 14 inch brush. When we designed them, uh, we made some changes to this knot up here. And when we did that, it actually took like a good inch or two off. And so it just does not have as much play as it did when we originally designed it. And that was just a flaw on our side and not thinking ahead after we changed the knot. So the knot that used to be on the first run of um, kits we made, it, it wasn't as complicated. So you can see this, this knot here that holds this tensioner in place. It's wrapped up and around uh, the crossbar a couple of times and then threaded through. And now that's, it's a nice fancy looking knot. You see that, it looks nice. The one we had before, it didn't look as pretty. It did the job, um, but when we did this, it took a good inch or two off, and now the whole fit of 14, just not, it's just a little bit harder to put it on. Um, so with this knot, you can, that, that's not going anywhere. That's pretty much set, and it's a beautiful looking knot. Um, so this is what one of the straps look like off of the brush, and so you can see, you can pretty much adjust that to any distance you want, depending on your brush. Um, again, 12 inch, is a 12 inch brush really is the body of the brush is not 12 inches it's usually uh the, the end of the bristles are 12 inches so sometimes it's like an 11 or whatever inches across the body of the brush so this would wrap around under it like that and these knots hold it in place so it's not sliding back and forth if you had a 14 inch brush it would just be like that um now the way this works when you get your system, you'll get a guiding plate. This is a simple plate that just goes in between the bristles like that. And then you push it through. You wrap this cord around. You lock it in place with the locking, um, with the cord lock. And it won't go anywhere. So this way you can push your bristles, play your bristles either direction to place your, uh, your strap in there without messing up your bristles. You take that off and do the same thing to the next one. We have an installation um, video on our website that you can go and look at when you order the product and it would help you guide you through the process. Um, and we actually, we're gonna be start sending out um, uh, just little pamphlets on step-by-step -step process, process as well. Um, so now, now if you have your, if you have your kit and it's all set up, you can keep this on your brush indefinitely and these pads are not gonna mess anything up. So, so if I'm doing a set of windows that doesn't really need any kind of abrasive or if I'm scrubbing down a gutter or whatever it would be, it would do some soft washing jobs and sometimes just, you know, the spot's not gonna come out, I'll get this out. And I'll just scrub it out and it's fine. It's not gonna hurt this and this is not gonna hurt anything else. It's just basically um, webbing and uh, Velcro, um, so it won't do any damage. So when you get it, and this is the black fin you're gonna receive, and this fin is um, it's made with Cordura fabric, which is super durable material, and it does not wear out very easily, or rip or tear very easily. Um, the stitching is a 
a 69 polyester thread, which is heavy duty like upholstery kind of threading. So th 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 that's gonna hold up pretty well too. And high quality um, Velcro on both sides. So you have the Velcro um, hook on this side and on this side, you, no, sorry. You have the Velcro loop on this side and the Velcro hook on that side. So when you, when you take it and you put it onto your brush, basically all you need to do is expose, expose the Velcro side, because on here is gonna be a Velcro side and it's gonna be a webbing side. The webbing side is not the adhering side. So you wanna take your, your hook portion of the Velcro and just attach it to the loop portion on that side and now you have one fin established. And you'll do the same all the way across on our four corners. And now you can put whatever abrasive material you deem necessary for the window. So this here we have our bronze abrasive and that will just snap into place on that and voila. Um, now if you don't want to use bronze and you have a set of windows that you maybe you know you have a residential job or a commercial job that you're doing I don't know once a quarter um, and you have some debris have some build up or maybe you know twice a year um, I would suggest using a blue pad so these are really great blue pads um, are abrasive enough to take material off but will not scratch a window surface and it's actually made um, with silicone um, and nylon, right? So silicone actually grabs and pulls. Um, and so this is a really good uh, alternative to using the bronze. It's cheaper and it does a hell of a job. I'll, I'll be putting some videos out with me using the blue pads on some residential jobs soon. Um, and again, you can put these blue pads on here and they will do the same the same thing. So when this, when this is splayed out over glass, what's happening is you're putting that pressure and this is fanning out like that. So this whole surface is a scrubbing surface now. And then now you can get into your corners of the windows right here without any problem, you need all four corners without any problem. And the more pressure you're gonna put on that, the greater scrubbing you're gonna get out of it. Um, now, there, there are some drawbacks and limitations to that. Um, so if you have a multi-tool or DA, a DA component multi-tool or a doodle bug or something like that on the back of your brush, you can get more, um, more surface pressure on it. You get more pounds per square in, inch on that unit on the back, which is nice. Um, but a lot of times you don't need all that pressure. You just need the security to know that, hey, my, all, my, my, um, my nylon bristles may not do all of the job. I wanted some little extra aggression on here. Um, so that's what we're gonna have with extra aggression. And I, most of the time, 90% of the time, I can get a window clean with either my nylons and a white pad, my nylons or a blue pad, or a nylons and the bronze. Um, very rarely where I've, I'll put the bronze on and I still can't get stuff done. So if you come across a set of windows or a house that has just a lot of um, screen burn, uh, uh, um, you know, white hazing on the windows, and that stuff gets really hard to get off. What I suggest doing is a combination between uh, something like a doodle bug or a uh, DA component, multi pad, uh, multi bar, or multi tool, sorry, on the back of your brush in conjunction with this. So, what you would do is, you know, I'm gonna set all the fins up real quick so we can get it better view of what's going on here. All right, so all the fins are on, all right? Now I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna put all of my bronze pads on here. And you can see it's the hook version or portion is on the back of the bronze. 
And once you secure them on there, they're not coming on off. They're on there pretty well. Um, let's see. And okay. So there you have it. They're on there. So let's suppose we are, hmm, you know, I might have something that would act as a window. Give me a second. So here we have a extra spare piece of plastic that would act like a window. So you, and once you have it on there and you're putting pressure on there and you're splaying that out, you can see how they'll fan out. And you got all four corners that you can really scrub into. And you see that? And you go up to the top of the frame, all the way around and down. Um, and then you can rinse. You can rinse with your rinse bar, with your jets, or whatever, what have you. Um, and you're gonna get decent amount of pressure on it. You see that bounce back on that right there? You're getting some decent pressure and it's fanning out and it's getting the whole surface and all the way around. Uh, so what I tend to do a lot too also is if the bottom of the frame um, is has a lot more buildup around, a lot of times that's what happens. You got all your corners is where everything kind of sits and settles. So if you take it and you put pressure on the bottom like that with your pole, you get more scrubbing action. Or reverse, you can do it reverse and put more pressure on the top, and that's really helpful. Again, going back to a window that has a lot of buildup, a lot of um, hazing or uh, uh, you know, screen burn, uh, what I recommend is if you're gonna just use abrasives and not chemicals, I would recommend a, a multi-tool on the back and a set of tiger fin bronze on the front. So what you, you would do is you go through, just scrub the window as you, as you normally would with, with the bronze on here. So you're getting your first initial scrub, then flip it, get the multi-tool on here, scrub it again, then come around and scrub it or rinse it. And typically that combination will take care of anything. Um, well, I mean, let's be honest, sometimes you need chemicals and you need a restoration process, but most, things that we deal with on a regular basis. It will take care of, it's a great combination tool, this and a multi-tool in the back. Uh, this is really nice by itself without a multi-tool because it's super lightweight. There's, there's, it's really not adding ex any extra weight to your, to your brush. So, you know, with, uh, with anything on the back side, you know, you got more bulk and more mass that is making your brush heavier, making your motions more labored. And it gets to be bulkier. So a lot of times you'll have that coming out the top, I don't have one here, I wish I had one here. Um, you'll have that coming out the top and it's gonna be protruding, it, protruding out. So sometimes, you know, you get that window that's really close to a overhead, a eave or something, and then you're hitting the frame or you're hitting the eave with your multi-tool and you gotta take it down and readjust it. It can be a major pain. Um, so this is nice to have um, and you eliminate all the weight, you eliminate uh, the bulk, um, the heating the frames was really nice. If you have this in conjunction with a mini, that's great because you get the best of both worlds, super light. Then if you need to have the extra abrasion on there, you can, um, or just by itself is wonderful as well. Um, and again, they just come off nice and easy. Now I want to put some white pads on here. All right, there you go. There's a white pad. We'll go through and we'll put all the white pads on. Couple of seconds now I have my white pads on um, it looks pretty good like that I, I like that um, so this is really good for uh, a lot of you guys maybe you Brits out there who are doing regular residential cleans once a month once every other month once a week I don't know how often you guys do it um, this is really great because these things are great agitators and they do a wonderful job um, so they would uh, be a great pair with an nylon bristles and some white pads just to some extra security and make sure you're getting everything off. These are wonderful for something like that. In fact, I have a job, a uh, commercial job that I'll be doing next week, and I do them once a month. They, it's a second floor uh, beauty salon. I have a bunch of windows wrapped all the way around, and um, in this time of year, they don't get that bad. In the summertime, uh, there's a lot of uh, spiders that 
kind of hang out. They have a sign. They have a big uh, neon or a big uh, logo sign above the windows. And they leave it on all the time, so you get all this uh, spider buildup and stuff like that. So I like to have some kind of abrasive when I'm doing that. And these are good for that because it's getting done once a month. It's not super bad. And, and unless it's peak season of summer and the spiders are really out, then I'll graduate to a blue or to a bronze. Um, but again, these are great for those regular maintained cleans, just some extra protection, um, just some extra security and peace of mind, you knowing that you're getting everything off that you want to get off. Um, and then the blue pads, um, again, the blue pads, I would, you know, I would use that. So for, like, say you have a residential job, they do quarterly, I'm not quarterly, um, twice a year. So I have, I have a, a handful of, um, residential customers and we do their house twice a year so we'll come out in the fall we'll come out in the spring our spring and fall uh, and we'll do the windows inside and out and they're not like super build up so like the bronze would be overkill and but it's not just bird poops sometimes other kind of stuff spider webs whatever and these are really great for for doing that so i'll take these and i'll put these on um, and do that oh i'm coming out in the spring let's Let's put some blue pads on with tiger fins, some extra, uh, you know, protection on there, some extra peace of mind. I know I got everything off. So the worst thing is when you, you've done the outside, now you're going in and do the inside, and you're like, oh, my God, look at that spot there. And you're like, what am I going to do with that? Um, or if you have somebody inside, they're like, hey, you missed a spot, you know. Uh, if you have that guy doing the inside where you're doing the outsides. Uh, so this, is, this helps eliminate some of that, you know, anxiety about all oh, did the water fed brush get everything especially when you're when you have new guys on your crew and you're just unsure of what they're really doing and how if they're doing well enough this really helps uh, uh bring peace of mind because uh, i know um sometimes they don't always spend enough time this will help them a little bit they still gotta spend time but this is a little bit of peace of mind for your owners um and then also the ability to get in those corners that's where all that build it up is if you take this thing and you reach into what did i do with that plastic if you take this thing and you reach up into that corner like that and you just apply some pressure and scrub back and forth that's going to get most of your stuff off uh and we left we intentionally left it with a gap in the middle so that you can scrub your frames a little bit easier there do i have anything here that would be qualify as a frame here. Give me a second here, guys. All right. Go Amazon box here. So let's say this is the window frame. Now, you can use that middle piece to actually scrub that frame a lot better. And this is chunkier than most frames that are out there. They're usually not this thick. But you can get in there and you can get the frame done a lot better than even when you're getting the, uh, the bottom of the frame. There's a gap in there. You can actually get in there and scrub it like that. You come across here. You can bend them this way, scrub it out like that. I mean, these are pretty adorable. You can see them really trying to rip this thing off like that. You're never going to do that in real life. But uh, you can see that they're going to hold up. Um, they're kind of bent the blue a little bit. Uh, but uh, you can see they're still on. Um, and if you ever have a problem, all you got to do is just a little more pressure on those things and they're not going to go anywhere all right um your artillery um fungus right so all those little specks and spores um you know on your windows if they especially like to hang like to develop right uh, right with windows that have um all the mulch around it and all that stuff kind of just like goes onto the windows and you have all those little black spots that don't come off you got to get your razor out and you got to you know um, so with a brand new set of bronze pads that will take off most of those those artillery fungus um, but usually my experience maybe about like 80 90 percent on a window will come off with this but it's gonna be those big ones that have been on there for a long time that just don't come off so at that point I, what I do is I would come through give it a once two over with this and then whatever doesn't come off give me a razor and then I'll come back and do it again so we're coming out with a um, a, a product that's going to solve that problem that you just again rip off a pad put these artillery fungus pads on and um and then go through do all those windows that have those fungus on it and you're good and then you take them off and then you 
put whatever pad you want back on on your brush. Um, let me think, what else can I tell you about the product? So here I have my, my cords just kind of hanging there and dangling. I mean, essentially you can take it and you can wrap it up and around the tensioner. It works great. There's nothing wrong with that. Or you can take it and you can just cut it, get a little lighter and burn the edge so it doesn't fray. That's good too. I, you know what? They don't bother me hanging like that. I'm lazy and you know, it's kind of nice because if, if they ever do lose tension, I can just quickly pull it. But um, once they're set, they usually don't lose their tension. These are pretty good cordage here. Um, sometimes, like in my experience, is once you put a new set on, it gets exposed to water and temperature changes. It may stretch one or two times. So if, you, if, I, if I got this and put it on today, I will go out and use it tomorrow. And then probably in a, you know, a day or two later, it will stretch. I would take it and stretch it out. And it would be good for then. It won't ever stretch again. Um, at that point, then I would burn it or I would wrap it around. Have any questions or comments? or uh, feedback for me, please just you know, put something in the, in the uh, comments. Uh, send me something on Facebook or Instagram. Um, YouTube, uh, we don't have very many subscribers right now on YouTube. We don't have a lot of videos either. And we haven't been really pushing that very much. Um, but, so if you're interested, come subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, like it, subscribe right now. Um, and you know, just stay tuned for the new product lines that are coming out um, in our blog. The blog's gonna be awesome. So what I wanna do with, with our blog is I really wanna focus on doing uh, industry leaders, um, doing interviews with these guys. So, so whether you're an influencer or you're a manufacturer, a uh, product inventor, um, or just somebody who's really pervasive in the industry, and you're a window cleaner, I would love the chance to interview. And it's gonna be all script based, so it's not gonna be a video or an audio podcast. And I kinda, I kinda wanna go in that direction because right now, there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on out. There's a lot of white noise with you know a lot of guys doing podcasts and interviews and, and all that kind of stuff, which is great and I love it. I absorb as much of that stuff as I can. But um, we wanna do something a little different and I like the idea of a uh, scripted or a, um, a written and, and read interview because you can uh, really dial into some topics and really get um, some really good answers back from some guys as opposed to being off the cuff, on the fly, right there live. Sometimes guys are not thinking as well and um, and can't always come up with the proper answer. But this way, it's kind of drawn out over a period of time. Uh, right now, I'm working on some interviews with a couple of really cool guys. Um, and hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll launch our first podcast. Our podcast, I said it, podcast. Um, we'll launch our first blog. Uh, the first blog is just going to be something I'm writing. It's just going to talk about the blog, what our goals are, and probably just like, you know, an over overview and uh, talking about my opinions on some stuff. Stay tuned for my opinions. All right, this is Ray from Mario Pro. Thanks.